Hey everybody, Siki here, and I'm back with another tutorial. So what's up? <laughs> Just kidding. How y'all doing? I am back again and I'm excited. Okay, so I'm using a ColourPop cream gel and the color workout as a base. Okay, you guys, I've already done my uh, eyebrows. I've already primed my eyes and all that good stuff. Now I'm using Cocoa Bear because it's a love thing. We got a love thing going on. But I'm putting that in the crease as my transition color. And I'm using my Mega Pro 2. And I'm going into a color by the name of Forest. I really wanted to use that green color, so I figured why not? It's fall time, it's so appropriate. So I'm just putting that all over the lid. We're doing something like a smoky eye, all right? If you hadn't picked up on it yet. And you just put that all over the lid and I'm going back into my crease with Cocoa Bear again. And now I'm using a color by the name of Burlap and I really love that as a brow bone highlight in this collection or in this palette. It is really nice, you guys, especially if you're my skin tone. And so remember, every time you add something to your eye, blend, all right? So this color is Mocha by Makeup Geek and I'm just putting that in between the crease and that color we put down from the Mega Pro 2 palette, okay? Because I just wanted it to have like a gradient effect. So that's what's going on here. And of course, after you do all that blending, I felt like I lost some of the color, so I just put a little more on. And remember, after you put more on, you blend, all right? So this is a Makeup Geek eyeshadow again, and this is in the color Glamorous. And since we had all this matte going on on the eye, I decided to put just a tad bit shimmer on my brow bone, all right? And this is a gel pencil by ColourPop, and this is in the color Fast Lane, and I am putting that in my lash line, and now I'm smudging it out just a little bit because I didn't want the harsh line. I wanted to have a smoky effect in my lash line as well. So I put a little bit of that shadow in there as well, the forest. And now I'm using another gel pencil, and this is in the color Maybe. I had to use this, okay? And this is a Makeup Geek eyeshadow as well. This is in the color Fuji. I am so glad I got to use it because when I first got these, I was like, this is not really considered a fall color, but I gotta rock it. So this is a new liner, and would you look at that point on there? That tip is like serious, right? So all I did, I wasn't really looking to make a thick line. I just wanted to kind of cover up the lash band. And you guys know that trick I do to cover up the duo because it's it gets kind of shiny when you take pictures. So I use black eyeshadow on there, all right? So this is a new primer. This is my second time using it. It's by Black Radiance. It's amazing. And we're color correcting. And now this new foundation. Couldn't figure out which one matched me, but guess what? Aha, figured it out. It's chestnut. And I'm using a all brand new fresh beauty blender it feels great life is great <laughs> so I did half of my face because I wanted to make sure that the color match was like on point all right so I'm like yep looks good let's continue and I'm using this for the first time I just picked this up this is Kat Von D concealer and it's a locket concealer and I used this I got some for Asia for prom and she really really liked it but this is like my first time ever using it all right so I thought I would put it in this video since we're using all new stuff all right guys and you know we got to rock that Ben Nye Topaz powder and guess what I'm cooking I'm baking I'm baking I'm cooking <laughs> okay so now we're using a NYX contour kit and that's the color that I'm using I'm not gonna show you this whole process cuz like I've been doing a lot of tutorials and you guys been seeing this but I'm basically chiseling the nose a little bit and contouring my cheeks all right and then after we bake you just kind of brush that off and that's what I'm doing and I'm making sure that everything is blended together because I do not like harsh lines I like it to be flawless all right so this is Ben Nye clay powder and I have been hooked on using this as a setting powder y'all know that all right and so we're putting some reinforcement here in this contour situation so I was using the covergirl queen bronzer and I've been using this sun power blush but now you guys this is a new kit check that out oh my gosh this is a new kit that I got from Becca I got it from Ulta it is called the afterglow palette and I'm using topaz and this is my first time using topaz and I'm amazed as you can see okay and so yeah I'm hooked on Becca Becca I'm convinced you have won me over all right so I'm using a ColourPop lippy sticks which I did in the last tutorial the same makeup look all right or not makeup look lippy look so this is the final look guys but that highlight though <laughs> 
So that is it, you guys. If you like this, then give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Have an awesome, blessed day. Love ya.